Hey guys, back again. Today we're taking a look at the Green Man Wayfarer. Alright, so the Wayfarer is uh, a beer from Green Man Brewing. Um, it's an American IPA. That's kind of all it says. Yeah. Oh, much never mind. Do. Well, 6%, 70 IBU. Uh, where will you go? Go where you will. Can what you do, do what you can. Very clever. It's an IPA. Another one. Yay. <laughs> It's lighter in body than, or like lighter in color than I thought it would be. They're from Asheville, North Carolina. Oh, well, hi, hey. Hey. Chairs from DC. Cheers. I didn't mean to make you think that we were insinuating that you were Hicks or anything. Mm. We've been in North Carolina. That's good as shit. Mm -hmm. Damn. All right. Not what I expected. Yeah. The smells aren't really like popping out at me again. Yeah. Um, it's it's a little bit hoppy, uh, a little bit grain in there, but it's not. It doesn't like overwhelm your senses or anything like a like a stone IPA or something like that would. Yeah. It's just kind of very vague, but then when you taste it, it's just like it's a bold flavor. It's got this little fruity thing going on. There's a little bit of like tropicalness in there from the from this. I'm assuming it's, it's citra. citra. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's not really intense. So I'm not getting a lot of. It's not intense, it's like, yeah. it's just really like sessionable. It's like really light and like, but it has more more body than expected for sure. Yeah, and then it cleans up nicely so you don't have any bitterness when you're around in your mouth. Very clean um, beer. Yeah, very clean. Wow, that's really good. It actually, I'm surprised it's 6%, like this kind of, it's so light, with light -ish yeah. tasting. It tastes like a 4% beer. Yeah, but I wouldn't expect this to be but it has the body of a 7% beer almost. And the alcohol is kind of like right in between. Damn, Green Man. Maybe we should check out more of your stuff. I think they're relatively new to this Northern Virginia distributing area. They've got to be because we just saw them like the other you know, month or whatever and we picked this up. Heads up, enjoy by 7219. That's pretty far out there. That's a good shelf life. Yeah. Excellent beer, guys. That's fantastic. Wow. It's been a while since I've been like really impressed by a, uh, an American IPA. Also, the can art kind of just... The brand itself doesn't really... Very simple. The font simple, kind of like Times New Roman-ish. <laughs> yeah. Everything's super blue and dark, so you might pass it by on the shelf, but I'm telling you, if you see this, pick it up and try it. It's really good. Well, damn, guys. Good job. I'm very impressed. We are impressed. All right, guys. Well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribers like you help the channel stay afloat. Be sure to tap that bell button if you like what you saw. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Oh, you got all the yeast. This is. Yeah, this is one that like I think people are gonna be like, oh, really? Like, they were impressed? I mean, they, they haven't seen that impressed for a long time. And they they would be right. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like a Goosebumps book. Okay. This guy's face looks like Lenny Kravitz, like peeking out of a bush. <laughs> yeah, Swamp Thing, like all this weird like foliage <laughs> all over his face. <laughs> like a homeless dude that's yeah. just been like rolling down a mountain, just like, hey guys. Hey guys, back again. Today we're taking a look at the Green Man Wayfarer. This is uh, an American, oh shit, I didn't do that right. Where will you go? Go where you will. All right. Going to the swamp. Bruh. All right guys, well that does it for us. So, <clears throat> all right guys, that does it for, <laughs> damn it. <laughs>